Let's move on to our fourth and final main topic today. And our fourth and final main topic today gets submitted to us by Marshall, Marshall Y, who writes, Hey, John. I'm a big fan of Edgar Wright, and he was recently tweeting about writing the sequel to Baby Driver. Driver is personally my favorite film of his, but what would you and Rob say is his best movie? Thanks. All right. Thanks a lot for for sending that in, man. And yes, Baby Driver was fantastic. I loved that movie, and I'm kind of uh, bewildered as to why it's taking this long to get a sequel out. It's not an expensive movie to make. It made decent amount of little money. Everybody really enjoyed it. It was both engaging and exciting all at the same time. You got Lily James, damn it, and that's all you need. <laughs> anyway, um, so I've, I've just never understood. So yeah, Edgar just lately has been tweeting even more about his writing the movie, and hopefully that comes about sooner rather than later. So why not, in the midst of that, talk about, since Edgar's talking about Baby Driver 2, why don't we talk about it for a second here? But what is our favorite Edgar Wright film? Because Rob, mm. Edgar Wright... And, you know, listen, and it's hard to think about Edgar Wright without also thinking Nick Frost, Simon Pegg, like yeah. that triumvirate of dudes has just made some of the most joyous pop culture, geek culture stuff there is. So I'll tell you what, three movies in particular um, come to mind, although, you know, a lot of friends of mine will always say World's End. There are there are a couple friends of mine, Rob, that like World's End is like it like that is peak. Uh, Edgar Wright, right? That kind of that whole uh, 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 genre of stuff there. But for me, there are three movies in particular that come to mind when I think of Edgar Wright. One of which is Scott Pilgrim versus the World, which is a graphic novel that I would have told you is unfilmable. Like, like uh, when so when I heard that Edgar Wright was taking a crack at Scott Pilgrim, I'm like, how do you make that into a movie? Like, I just have no idea. That thing is so bonkers. How do you make it into a movie? He made it into a movie, and he crushed it. He crushed it. Another one, of course, is the aforementioned Baby Driver. You know, it was a very different kind of movie for Edgar Wright. And we it was, it was separate from all the other types of stuff we've seen him do. And I think there was a real curiosity with a lot of us, wondering, how's Edgar going to do with a movie like this? Answer, he crushed it. Uh, and made it fun and exciting and engaging and all that kind of stuff. But Rob, to me, with all due respect to my buddies who love World's End and all my friends who love Scott Pilgrim and Baby Driver, to me, it's it's nothing's finer than Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead, to me, was, as they defined it, was the first rom-com zom. It was a romantic comedy with zombies. And it was really the first of its type. And it became a very influential film as well, dude. When you go back and see a lot of horror, the way that movie by itself has influenced and kind of, you know, exerted a lot of, uh, let's say, homages to this movie in horror movies and the horror genre as a whole that's come after it. It wasn't just a fun little bubble of a film. It became a really influential little film. And it certainly announced with huge trumpets the arrival of Edgar Wright, Simon Pegg, Nick Frost. There were people who knew who they were already because of their show. But I think this was their big introduction to the world. So, Rob, when I look at Edgar Wright, I think of those three films. Scott Pilgrim, I think of Baby Driver. But first and foremost, I think Shaun of the Dead. When you look at the filmography and the career of Edgar Wright, what film stands out to you the most? Well, okay, I'm I'm going to have to agree with you utterly because Dawn of the Dead is one of my favorite, the original Romero Dawn of the Dead is one of my favorite movies of all time and certainly one of my favorite horror films of all time. Now, what I loved about Shaun of the Dead, like I don't like it when, when there's parodies and send-ups of my favorite things, usually. So I went into Shaun of the Dead ready to be pissed off <laughs> and and when i watched it shawn of the dead is a legitimate straight up horror film and and it's dealing with the same i mean it's totally respectful of romero's films but it's like these two jablonskis these working class guys in london their experience of the zombie outbreak i mean i was like that could happen like like I would imagine so it so it didn't disrespect or it didn't annoy me and it certainly didn't it still respected the legacy of, of Romero's holy trilogy of Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead and Day of the Dead. I know he's made Land of the Dead and Survival of the Dead, but those three films and and it was, you know, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. They were so good in that movie and everybody else was so good in the film and, and it was it still was 
a rom-com, but it was a straight up horror film, survival horror. It was really great. So it, that is my favorite uh, Edgar Wright movie. But I think his entire Cornetto trilogy, Hot Fuzz, I think is amazing. And it doesn't get the credit it deserves. I think it's hilarious. Timothy Dalton does a great job. Simon Dalton's Pegg's, so good in that. He's so good. And, and, and Simon Pegg coming back playing this deadpan Uber cop is awesome. You know, Nick Frost. And then and World's End is a, a really interesting. I mean, people talk about film trilogies. And while they're not directly related, he does call them his Cornetto trilogy. And I, I think that's an ice cream thing. And, it is. And I, I love them. Uh, those are my favorite movies. Now, I have to tell you, when I first saw Baby Driver, I, I appreciated the craft, but I'm like this. It, it, it annoyed me. I'm like this movie really? is trying so hard to be. Look at how cool I am, and hey, I'm gonna dance around the streets and listen to me. That was the first time I saw it. Then I saw it again. It was a, a movie kind of like the talented Mr. Ripley, which I mm. really didn't like the first time I saw it. But a, this my second viewing, it felt like a totally different movie. I don't know if I was just in a sour mood when I first saw it, or you know, was looking down my nose at this movie. But I now I find Baby Driver to be delightful and right up there with my favorite Edgar Wright trilogy. And uh, I can't wait to see a second one. Have and I mentioned I'm that Lily James is in that movie. Dude, just, just I know. <laughs> I, and not only that, I, I dare say, I mean, Cinderella was peak <sighs> Lily James. But that yeah. was fantasy Lily James. Baby Driver is, I want to go to that diner and meet Lily James, Lily James. She was amazing in that movie. And, yeah. I mean, you know, I there's something about her. Like, I've always been a face person when it comes to women. I, I love faces, female faces. Her face, like whether she's in Yesterday or Cinderella or Baby Driver, I could look at her face talking endlessly for the rest of my life. I, I just don't know what it is. She's got this ethereal, almost angelic quality. She almost doesn't look of this earth. She just looks like she just descended from the heavens and uh, never more so than in Baby Driver. I yep, want to go to right that there. Listen, diner, John. I say in Hollywood, look, there are some people that are just unfairly like some of the most men or women that just like beautiful, like it, like the attractiveness is just stupid. Whether you're talking about guys like a Brad Pitt or a Javier Bardem or women like Margot Robbie, but Lily James has got to be on that list, too. But and on top of that, she's uber talented. Anyway, guys, question here for you is, you know, what? But even before I got I got to show this, Rob, I got to show this. So speaking of Shaun of the Dead, I just decided to pull this out for fun. I might have shown this one picture before, but. So I was actually lucky enough that the very first screening of Shaun of the Dead in North America was in Toronto. And it was a, kind of like a semi-private screening. And I was doing my website at the time called The Movie Blog. And a couple of us from the they invited a couple of us from the movie blog to go and be there because because our website had kind of been championing this film that hadn't played in North America yet. So they invite us to be there. Take a look at this picture. On the left is, this is 16 years ago. Wow. On the left, 16 years ago. Look at those two young guys. Uh, that was the night that we did the first screening of Shaun of the Dead. And that was in Toronto. They had just flown in. We went out for drinks afterwards and all that kind of stuff. The picture beside it was like almost 10 years later uh, when I got to do, I was lucky enough, I got invited to go and do uh, uh be the moderator for the Q&A after the screening of uh, of World's End. So it was just kind of funny. I just wanted to show that picture because I thought that was funny, like one and then almost a decade later. And uh, I look worse and Edgar looks better. I don't know how that works. But yeah, the older picture uh, to the newer picture, I look worse. Edgar looks better. So that seems a little bit unfair. Anyway, the question here is, guys, for you. What do you think? is the best film that Edgar Wright has done. As we all are excited and look forward to him doing more stuff, including Baby Driver 2, what do you think is the best film he's done? All right, guys. With all that down and out,